Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Tenkaichi Chapter 14. Before we get into today's reaction, if you haven't already, you should definitely be sure to subscribe and help us reach our goal for 2022 of hitting 5,000 subscribers. In addition to that, I'd like to try and hit 50 likes on this video. Let's see if we can do that. So without any further ado, let's get into the chapter. So let's see here. The chapter is titled The Barbarian Beast vs. The Peerless Swordsman. I see. We're... Now we're, we're already starting off with a very good angle for William. Per Nobunaga's command, we will now decide upon the location of the third match. Both sponsors, please draw from this lottery. Hmm? Is this Shibata Dono? Oh, this one seems kind of cute. Mori Terumoto. That's yours truly. You may keep it. And it's also the jackpot. Well, I'll be. Does he not know that this, uh... Anyway, oh, why are you the jackpot? Because cute is justice, as they say. Hmm? Yeah, I don't think they say that. Now, Terumoto Dono, make your choice for the next round's location. Oh, are you sure? In that case, I want... Tenkaichi Round 1, Match 3 takes us out to sea. On board the boat of Sweet Winds. Interesting. I was not expecting uh, being on a ship, but not bad. I'll take it. Wow, this is awesome. This boat's massive. Hey, Master, if I win this tournament, I want to have this thing. Now, now, Inshun Nocho Nozihi. I don't know what that means. Uh, and we have Hozoin Ine. So his sponsor is his teacher, who may also be like his grandfather or something. Then we have Kanemaki Jisai, I don't know who that is, uh, with Kojiro. I'm assuming uh, Jisai is his sponsor. Uh, so they started this in the last chapter. I like that they're showing more of the fighters that we're not going to see go up for a little bit. Before it was basically just Yagyu, and I guess we saw Hanzo during the first round a bit. Uh, so it's cool that we're starting to see more of the other fighters as well. Because, you know, outside of their fights, a lot of them are not going to do much because they're going to die in their first fight. Uh, so, gotta get some stuff out of them now. Uh, sensei, the match will soon begin. Yaha, who is this big-titted lady here? Titties. <laughs> What? What? Must suck. Mm. Kami Zumi. You say no Kami. Are you fucking serious? Oh no. Oh, this is not. This is not what I was expecting out of Kami Zumi. I mean, I can't blame him, but... Oh my god. He... Okay. So, Toto was, like, in his 70s or something. Kamizumi's, like, in his 90s or some shit. He's pushing 100 at this rate. The guy is... losing his mind. So, yeah. This colossal boat measuring over 320 shaku long is truly a symbol of the Oda clan's power. And of course we have Oda sitting there with his bitches. Begin now. <laughs> I spent the whole night making sure it was ready to launch on time. I'm simply superb. It's rocking quite a bit. Must be because of those storms last night. Will they be able to fight in these conditions? Well, they wouldn't be here if they couldn't. Now. Allow us to introduce the combatants onto the field. The martial artists who will put their lives on the line to prove they are the strongest. On the east side, representing the Oda clan. By the way, I like that Mr. Sumo Man, what was his name again? Hino Choco. Yeah, I like Choco's just going along with the femboys routine, dancing him around the fucking deck. Very nice, very good. I like Choco. Enter! Choco... Turns around. 
leaves, doors open. This man is the instructor of martial arts to the Oda clan. His swordsmanship is both in name and deed the greatest in the land. Phoenix of the Blade, master across the ages. The names he is known by to hearken to his renown are countless. Phoenix of the Blade is a cool title. I wonder what exactly that implies about his style. There is none in Japan who does not know the name, know of his fame in the martial arts world. His swordsmanship, inherited from his preeminent father, is second to none. The peerless swordsman, Yagyu Munenori. Oh, he's changed his drip a little bit, I think. He looks great. He looks fucking awesome. My god. How does young Oda always have a butterfly on his nose? Ah, what a bother. I cannot say I am fond of such harsh sunlight, but oh well. What a boat this is. Even father is lavish in his spending, hmm? Yagyu Munenori, the son of the sword saint Seki Shusai, who said to be even greater than his father, will finally get to see his swordsmanship. Watch his swordsmanship closely. Okie dokie. Yeah, it's good for him to learn titties. Oh my god. Dear oh dear. <laughs> Can you feel it? It should. Oh, I see. He, he has a bit of a. Yeah, he has a bit of a speech impediment. All right. I can. He has such a serene expression. But I've never seen anyone conceal such an intense bloodlust before. Ah, yes, indeed. That's a great page. <laughs> Munanori. Use your bloodlust to retain the Oda's dominion. Yes, sir. I shall hold nothing back. <laughs> Amazing, peerless swordsman. You finally poised yourself to fight and up the pressure. But your opponent is a whole different kind of beast. One who went out of his way to choose a boat is the grounds for this match. I can't even imagine. Up next, from the west side, how this will turn out. Mori clan, enter. This man does not hail from Japan. No, he is an assassin from England. Even among all the Mori clan's powerful retainers, he stands out as the cream of the crop. And right here, right now, that power may consume all of Japan. The doors are like... bending <laughs> as they're being pushed open, I guess. He can only be called the Ravager of the Tenkaichi, oh god. And his name is... Blows the doors off the hinges. Uh-oh, what did he do? Every, uh, the, the retainers are shocked. Yagyu is just watching. Oda's laughing. Ah! Ooh. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing to Nobunaga's ship? Oh, he kicked the door down. Nice. Sorry about the door, samurai lady. Or it's laddie. Okay. No, he does know he's a femble. That's good. He's been paying attention. Sorry about the door, samurai laddie. Whenever I get a taste of the sea breeze, I just lose all control over myself. Uh, translators note it's implied he's speaking English here. Hence the, uh, the different font. And why the femboy cannot understand what he's saying. My name is William Adams. Fate has brought me here to take part in this battle. Now let's get this party started. Oh, brother. The tattoos are cool. He's looking pretty beastly. He's, uh, yeah, he's got the fucking, uh, shit. The, the, um, kilt on. Yes, I think he's, that's what he's wearing. And he's got the knife to do the dirk dance. Oh, his pronunciation is pretty good. He's been putting in the work, an Englishman. It isn't every day that we get to see a fight with a foreigner, William Adams. Aside from the fact that he arrived in Japan recently, there's nothing known about him. So just what sort of fighting style will he use? He's gonna dance around with a knife, that's what he's going to use. He's standing with his median, median, Perfectly straight. He seems to have excellent control over his body. 
Hmm. When I saw the announcement of the matchups, I thought Mori and some I thought Mori and some strange scheme in mind. I think they're missing a word there. Mori had. Oh wait, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm skipping the word. I thought Mori had some strange scheme in mind, but it seems he's not simply going out of his way to be eccentric. William, that softer-looking man is Yagi. I, I figured as much, Mori Dono. <laughs> You've truly got the face of a lass, eh? Hmm? Let's shake on our honor, Master Yagyu. I hear that you're the most distinguished swordsman in Japan. I am fortunate, nothing more. And you ought to refrain from sticking your hand in my striking range. Ha. Graceful elegance paired with cold killing intent. A shining symbol of all samurai. So hot. Oh, so this is what everyone was warning me about. I see. Hot? I'm truly blessed. Not only to happen across this land through the storm, but to have a chance to ravage its very symbol. Master Yagyu. Oh, no. I want to rape you, body and soul, until nothing is left untouched. <sighs> we really do have a very interesting villain set up for this round. I think this round is setting up a villain in this bracket, and we're going to see which one of them that is. William's off to a, a, an interesting start, to say the least. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually now rooting for Yagyu this time around. Oh, a foreign dagger. Rape? Did he just say he'll rape Yagyu? Don't know. Rape this country? Ah, truly impeccable English representation. Titties. Yes, indeed. I mean, I can't lie, Kamizumi. This, uh, more, uh, reserved-looking chick here does have nice pity. That's true. Hmm. Even I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but, once I learned about Adams, I knew there was no other fighter I could back. Soon enough, everyone on board this ship will see for themselves exactly why. Because he's a fucking monster, obviously. Huh, just like a demon come to terrorize Japan. Then I, in turn, shall drive you out of these lands. Yeah, yeah, we're do- oh god. I know people were worried about there being like a- Oh, the evil foreigner. Yagyu is literally going, ah, I will protect Japan from the evil foreigner. And that's our cue. We've got the arena all fired up now. Yagyu Munanori representing the Oda clan. William Adams representing the Mori clan. Begin. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Yeah, um... I agree with the people that say it'll be a huge shock if William wins. Like, like if William wins... Yeah, actually, there are no predetermined winners. But, you know, I imagine Yagyu is very strong. So we're going to see what the deal is with Adams. The moment the signal to begin was given, Adam's body leapt high into the air. Interesting. Now then, Master Yagyu, care for a dance. And now he's dancing around Yagyu. By the way, he has one arm behind his back, so he's pretty much only fighting one-handed. He jumped? No, this isn't jumping. This is... <laughs> and so it begins. The Dirk Dance. I see. Interesting. This is a really nice spread. I really like this. We're off to a really good start with this fight. Is this his fighting style? So it's based on some sort of dance. And nothing at all like a Japanese one. The rhythm is difficult to follow. And I will not be strung along with such deceiving moves. All I need is to determine when he is about to strike. I imagine that's where most of the problem is going to come in, Yagyu. You, you won't be able to tell. Well, yeah, Chad. Seems he's waiting for something. Huh? You mean Yagyu? 
Womp womp, bitch again. Ah, fuck, I got... <laughs> oh, I like this kid. Ah, fuck. Watch your profanity. It's Adam who's waiting. But just what for? Ooh. You notice something? There. Oh, wait. I can't keep my balance. Adam's is behind left. I uh, yes, so Adams was waiting for the boat to get rocked. And you can see here he really doesn't give a shit about that. He's doing very well. A kick to the face. Now that's a surprise. Ah yes, all your attention is on the knife. You wouldn't expect a kick. So that's what he's doing here. He's going in for a kick. He's spinning around for that. Fascinating. That man he used the boat's rocking to shorten the distance he had to move. So that circling footwork wasn't to confuse his opponent, but to predict the waves and the rocking of the ship. Interesting. Whoa, there's a big one. Oh, here's a big one. Oh, 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 William leaps in. If a little wave like that's enough to throw your balance off, you won't survive out here at sea. I see now. There you go. Yagi's in this. It's no wonder why you chose this spot as the grounds for our match. Ha. That really wasn't enough to kill you, eh? Of course not, William. It's only the first chapter. Oh. Yagi Dono stopped that man dead in his tracks. Impressive. He's already adjusted himself to the rocking. Eh. This much ought to be easy for him, at least. Not that I wanted you to die there. All this was just the opening act. Okay, cool. Oh, now comes the Dirk dance. <laughs> it relieves me to hear that. A mere party trick like this would hardly ever be enough to satisfy me. Hmm. So, now Yagyu has his ugly side coming out too. Ah, yes! I see lovely problematic scans as party posting with, uh... William, that's good, very good. Well, that was an interesting chapter to say the least. I think this fight is off to a pretty good start. I'm very excited to see how it turns out. Um, really, I, I don't know who will win, but I'm rooting for Yaku. <laughs> Cause I don't like dudes who talk about raping things all the time. Doesn't really sit well with me. So hopefully we just kind of have the normal insane person win this one. Uh, so with that, that's all I've got for today's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I'll be reacting to new Tenkaichi chapters whenever they're translated. If you enjoy discussing Tenkaichi with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce in this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.